Hi, I'm Greg Stewart, uh, corn specialist with the Ontario Ministry of Agriculture, Food and Rural Affairs, working with Ontario Pork in this project where we have uh, put together an on-the-go inflation pressure adjustment system. Allows you to run at a certain pressure in the tire when you're going down the road and then at field edge reduce that pressure so that it lowers the soil compaction threat in the field. Okay, the essence of this project is trying to reduce soil compaction while we're out uh, spreading manure in Ontario fields. To reduce compaction, our general uh, principle has been to put bigger tires on that have bigger air volume that can run at lower inflation pressures. The reason for that is that low inflation pressure generally means low contact pressure between the tire and the soil surface. And if you have low contact pressure between the tire and the soil surface, you have less risk of soil compaction. That's all well and good in a manure tanker to have a big tire, low inflation pressure while you're in the field. However, if you need to go down the road at 25 or 30 miles an hour, when the tanker's full, that tire will require significantly greater inflation pressures than what would have been suitable when you were in the field. This system, this, this project, is designed to look at a, 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 a system that would in fact allow you to run high pressure in the tire while you're coming down the uh, road and then as you get to the field edge to be able to automatically reduce the inflation pressure in the tire, increasing its uh, footprint and reducing its potential soil compaction. You spread the manure in the field at a low inflation pressure. When the tanker's empty and you're headed back to the barn, you hit the switch and it automatically reinflates the tire. So again, while you're making the road trip with the tanker full, you're at relatively high pressures in the tire. Come to the field edge, hit the switch, reduce the pressure, increase the footprint, and hopefully reduce the threat of soil compaction while you're on the field. So key components in the system, one of them is obviously the supply of air to the tire. So this standard holds the uh, line that's uh, bringing air to the rotary seal and then the rotary seal connects to this line which brings the uh, air right into the uh, tire through the typical uh, valve stem port. Um, so on the move uh, air can either go in or out of the tire typically as you come to the field edge if you have relatively high inflation pressure in the tire you'd hit the switch and be able to draw air out of the tire so that in the field you could run at a lower inflation pressure and hopefully uh, reduce the uh, soil compaction threat. The, uh, the other component in this project is the control system that uh, manages the flow of air to and from the tire. We've uh, contracted with uh, Tire Boss out of Edmonton. Uh, Brian Spreen with uh, TPC International out of Edmonton, Alberta. Uh, we uh, supply the Tire Boss Tire Pressure Control System, uh, mainly used on transport trucks. This is our first application on a uh, uh, slurry tanker uh, that hauls liquid manure. Uh, we're working on a project in on southern Ontario here with uh, uh, Ontario Pork and uh, a number of uh, contributors. Uh, some of the main benefits of this system are going to be to uh, uh, change the tire pressures on the go uh, so that we can mainly reduce soil compaction, uh, widen the application window, and save uh, fuel, hopefully, uh, for, the, for the farm operation. Uh, it is the first one that we're installing, so uh, uh, we're quite excited to see how it's going to turn out.